It's time for Orchard Skills. Material is a design system created by Google to help teams build high-quality digital experiences for Android, iOS, Flutter, and the web. Material design is inspired by the physical world and its textures, including how they reflect light and cast shadows. Material surfaces re-image the mediums of paper and ink. Material design is guided by print design methods, topography, grids, space, scale, color, and imagery to create hierarchy, meaning the focus that immerses viewers in the experience. Today, we'll be creating a material design theme for Orchard Core, utilizing the new version 5 of Bootstrap. <music> Welcome back. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and create material design theme for Orchard Core. Instead of starting out from scratch, let's head over to our GitHub repository and clone the Orchard Core CMS repository. So let's head on over to github.com slash orchard skills slash orchard skills dot orchard core dot orchard CMS and hit the code button and open github desktop and let's go ahead and clone that okay great let's head over to the orchard core documentation and let's go to the code generation templates and that's at docs.orchardcore.net slash en slash dev slash docs slash getting started slash templates and let's go ahead and copy this template here okay let's go ahead and run the template all right great Okay, let's go ahead and create the directory orchardskills.orchardcore.materialdesign theme. All right, so now let's cd into that directory. Okay, and let's do a .NET new OC theme. Okay, great. Our Orchard Core theme was created. Let's do a directory. And there you go. We have a manifest.cs and we have some views and we have an Orchard Core dot material design dot CS proj. Okay, let's launch Visual Studio. All right, there's our solution. So let's go ahead and add the theme project to our solution. So right click on our solution and click on add existing project Orchard Core CMS into our Orchard Core dot material design theme. And let's select the Orchard Skills at Orchard Core dot material design theme. And we'll open that up. And then you'll see we have layout.liquid, a manifest here. That's about it. <laughs> okay, the first thing we want to do is right click on our Visual Studio solution and click on Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. And let's go to Updates. Make sure we have Include Pre Releases because we've been doing nothing but pre releases. And let's go ahead and select them all here. And let's go ahead and do an update. Okay, let's go ahead and click on OK here. And I accept. Okay, all our NuGet packages have been updated. The material design theme is based off of MD Bootstrap's UI kit. So let's head on over to their website. So the website is mdbootstrap.com slash doc slash standard slash templates here. What we'll utilize is the MDB5 UI kit, which is their material design for Bootstrap 5. So let's go ahead and download that. Download the file, and you'll notice it's downloaded here. Show in the folder here, and let's unzip it. And there you go. So you can see here's our CSS, our images, our JavaScript source license and readme file. Let's bring Visual Studio back up. And for the Orchard Skills .orchard Core .material design theme, let's go ahead and shorten it. And let's go ahead and just make it material design. So that'll be a lot easier to manage here. As you can see, the material design theme that we generated through the templates is pretty minimal. The only file that is the layout.liquid and the manifest.cs. And let's compare the directories to like the blog theme has there's a recipe directory and of course there's a views directory but you can see the views directory here is just one file so let's just go ahead and delete this guy here and then let's copy the recipes views www root the resource manifest file and the startup file copy all of those over to here so this is basically a hybrid between razor files and liquid files and most of them are liquid files 
when creating a theme, it's a lot easier to utilize what Orchard Core has done with their blog themes or their any of their other themes. So that's what we're doing here is we're going to copy all of these liquid templates over to form a basis of our material design theme. So now let's bring up Visual Studio and we can see all the files that were now included that we copied over. We have a recipe directory and in the recipe directory we have a footer.html. So this is a widget footer and then we also have two JSON files which is the recent blog post.json and search blog post.json. So looking at the footer file here you can see this just contains HTML for the footer information. So this is basically a widget here that was created. And then looking at the recent blog post, these are just the, the search criteria for the recent blog post and also for the search. And so we have your terms in here. And then of course, here's the main recipe, which is the material design recipe. And you'll notice that this is basically a basis of the blog recipe that's been extended to support a lot of different other pages. As we scroll down, here's all the tags information. Here's all the different features that have been enabled here. And then here, of course, is all the different articles and content type content that's part of the whole recipe. And as we go down here, we have a shared folder. So this is the login menu. And so this is a razor page here. And then we also have a liquid template here that not found. So when a page is not found, it'll show a nice formatted page. And we also have a search. So it'll show a search page when we select on the search. And then here's our view imports.chhtml. And of course, here's our blog, our categories for our um, taxonomies. Here's our content, our article, our blog, blog post, our category, content page. And then here is a, the layout.chhtml. This is basically the kind of like the index.html. This is one of the main important files. And you'll notice that here we're adding search engine optimization. So we're adding a Google tag for our Google Analytics. We're doing all the SEOs where we're showing all, de describing all the descriptions of that so that the search engine can get all the information, the Twitter tags and all that, Apple icons and all of that such. And then of course we're loading all the material design themes and such. And then basically as we go through further down here, you can see that we've got the nav bar here. So, and then we have our different render sections. So basically, this is a hybrid between Liquid and the, the CHHTML, which is the Razor pages. And then down here in the www root here, here's all the CSS files. So here's the material design for bootstrap files. And then we have our own custom file here for our styles.css. And then we added some icons, some images. And then, of course, we have some material design for bootstrap JavaScript and then we also have other JavaScript files for our animations and such. So then we also include Font Awesome, and then we have a robots.txt, which is for our SEO and our sitemap here. And, and then of course we have our resource manifest, which includes all of the raft setup nicely for the material design. And then we have our startup.cs. So let's go ahead and run the application here. So let's go ahead and hit the little green triangle button to start the application. Okay, let's go ahead and select the material design theme. Make sure we put in our credentials and then let's go ahead and hit the finish setup button. And there you go. Here's the material design. This is where we, our icon is being displayed. Here is the name of our application, which is my Orchard Core CMS. And then we have a toggle button here that will switch between a dark theme and a light theme. So if you notice down here, we select on we have a light theme here. And then we have all of our social icons up here on the toolbar. And then we have our home, which is currently here. We have our blog page. We have our about page. So you can see we have our nice about page that talks about Orchard Core. And then we have our contact page where you can send messages. We have our search page, so we can actually search for, say, we'll search for Visual Studio, and then 
video or something on Visual Studio. All right, let's search on start. And then we have There you go. And we can actually log in. And so we can log in to our dashboard. And we can see all our content here. And you'll notice that in the design, we have a template here, which is kind of the, the landing page, the first page. So you can actually modify your, your code here. And this, all this is all stored in the recipe. There are different themes, and here's our material design theme here. So uh, let's go back. So we have our nice links and that. We, if you want, we can go ahead and switch into a dark theme. So, and then, which is really nice is if we click on here, then you'll notice that all of these forms or basically forms for material design. So you can click on that, put the last name, email, and the subscribe button. So there you go. This is material design for Orchard Core. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.